Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about how to choose a bird box camera for owls. Uh, for those who have never heard of the bird box camera before, it's pretty intuitive. It's just how it sounds like a bird box camera. A camera that goes inside a bird box to watch the inside of the bird box whenever we want in front of our screens, our phones. You can check our uh, video page for some more examples or live demos. So let's take a look at some tips for how to choose the correct bird box camera for our owl box. Well first we have to know is that the size matters very much because the bird box camera goes inside the bird box so we have to have one that fits it properly. If we get one that fits, uh, you can't really fit it in or it's too big, you know, it can startle birds or create bad images. This, in this situation, our green backyard bird box camera is very tiny and, and has high definition, so it's like a perfect choice. It doesn't take up much space, and you can see that this is like a simulating owl box, which is very big, so the green back, the bird box camera is pretty good for it. Next, we're going to have to consider if we're going to choose wire or wireless. Well, many people think wireless. It's like more convenient because you don't need an extra, you know, planting a cable back to our main network, main router. But, you know, wire, wireless signals can be interfered once in a while and sometimes lagging and uh, data loss will cause the image to be not that good. Well, if we use like uh, Ethernet cables to connect it back to our main network, the image will be very, f very clear and there will be very stable connections. It's just like our live demo you just saw. Those are all using wired, wired bird box cameras. After that, we're going to have to think about where we're going to plant our bird box camera. And where it mostly has to be waterproof at least. You know, the bird box, or owl box in this case, has to go outside because, you know, the wild uh, owls will come and fly here. If you leave it inside your house, it's hardly for them to go to feel safe to come in f at the beginning. This is like a simulated owl box. You know, there's a stand for it. Real owl box aren't this, are prettier than this. So if we place this outside, this is the roof for it. I laid it down because it's too big. This is a roof for it, but you can see there are little gaps right here. If we put the camera in, water will leak in and compromise our camera. So we have to make sure that our waterproof measurements and waterproof methods are all good enough to keep our camera safe. Then we're going to have to make sure we have adjustable lens. Say this is one of our owl boxes and maybe a day or two we want to change to a different one. If our lenses are fixed, the focal length will be the same and if the image, the thing object we are taking the video of is moving, it can't focus on the object that great, then it will be blurry, not clear. Our, our green backyard bird box camera has adjustable lens so we can just twist it and turn it, make it the clearest image we see on our phone. It's really convenient for us to like change positions or change bird box once in a while. Also, when we you know we want a, a bird box for owls, an owl box. Well, owls we all know they're night creatures. They go they're more active at night. So our bird box camera has infrared LEDs to get clear image even if it's dark around. And don't worry, these infrareds are used in a special wavelength which can't be visible at all. So the owls won't even notice that there are like red dots in the and near the camera, so it won't startle them. And still we can take a look, take great look at them. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions or comments, leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.